Welcome to this presentation, Leveraging Your Study Abroad Experience. I'm Anna Umbright from VCU Career Services, and this video will walk you through ways to reflect on and unpack your study abroad experience now that you're back at VCU. Did you know? Study abroad can be described in many ways. Fun, challenging, life-changing, and eye-opening. It also is considered a type of experiential learning, a term that describes experiences that are hands-on and that help you learn through doing. Other types of experiential learning include volunteering, internships, involvement in clubs and organizations, and research. In order for you to be able to tell others about your study abroad, especially employers or graduate programs, you need to unpack your experience a bit in order to think of all the different ways your study abroad was valuable. The next two slides offer a variety of questions to reflect on. You may want to pause the presentation and spend some time thinking about your answers to these questions. Now that you've thought more about your study abroad experience, let's review ways you can market your experience. Have you ever wondered what employers look for when they consider candidates for jobs and internships? The National Association of Colleges and Employers conducted a survey and determined that employers seek competencies in eight key areas when they make a hiring decision. A study abroad experience can be a great example that you use to demonstrate your competency in these areas. There are several ways you can communicate the value of your study abroad experience to employers. Have you added study abroad to your resume? If the experience was mainly academic, i.e. you were in the classroom and on field trips, add it to your education section. Here are two examples that show that you can list it with more or less detail. It's up to you. What if your study abroad experience included additional experiential aspects such as volunteering, research, community service, or an internship? Then you can list that part of the experience in one of your experience sections, in addition to listing your study abroad program under education. Consider what you did and what you will use your resume for next in order to decide if it should go under relevant experience, additional experience, leadership, research, or community service sections. Once you've decided how to include study abroad on your resume, then you might consider adding it to your LinkedIn profile in a similar fashion. You might mention studying abroad in your summary, experience, and or education sections on your LinkedIn profile. Another way to leverage your study abroad experience on LinkedIn is to find alumni who are living and working in a specific country of interest and reach out to them for networking conversations. If you've studied abroad in the country they live in, that is something you have in common with each other, and they may be even more interested in helping you. A cover letter accompanies a resume when you apply for opportunities, so you can use it as a way to guide the reader of your resume and help them notice that you studied abroad. The cover letter also is your first chance to start telling your story about how studying abroad has prepared you for future opportunities. To determine in which paragraph you should write about your study abroad experience, consider these three questions. Does your study abroad experience help explain why you're qualified for a specific position? Does it help explain why you're a good fit for the organization? Or is it a critical piece of information for them to know right away about you? Your 30 second pitch is a quick spiel you use to introduce yourself to employers and other professionals. It should be a brief introduction to your professional identity and include information such as your major or program of study, your school, a bit about your past experience, as well as what kinds of opportunities you are seeking. Here are two examples of how study abroad might fit into a pitch. 
When you have an opportunity to interview for a job or internship, it's helpful to use specific examples from your past in order to help an employer understand your value and potential for an opportunity. Study abroad can be used as an example in a variety of ways, such as demonstrating your global and intercultural fluency. Or you might tell a story from your study abroad experience that helps show how you adapted quickly to an unfamiliar situation or how you navigated a challenge. You may also mention your study abroad as a way of connecting the dots between your experience and why you're interested in a specific employer or graduate program. The best way to ace an interview is to practice answering interview questions. Here is a list of questions you can practice with. For each one, try to frame your answer in a way that you're mentioning your study abroad experience. You may want to pause the video here to work on this activity. Many people enjoy studying abroad so much that they find that they are interested in going abroad again. You may find that you're in a similar situation. You might consider teaching, volunteering, searching for internships or jobs, or even just opportunities to travel. The next few slides will review resources that you can use to assist your search for your next opportunity abroad. Handshake is a job, internship, and event database managed by VCU Career Services. Here we list any opportunities we know about that are actively recruiting VCU students. The Global Education Office has a long list of external resources linked to their webpage that can help your search. VCU Link is a new resource for campus that can help you find alumni and other professionals based on a variety of criteria such as location, industry, major, and more. Similarly, LinkedIn allows you to search for VCU alumni who have LinkedIn pages based on various keywords including their location. As you're working on the action steps I've outlined in this video, know that VCU Career Services is a helpful resource available for you. You can come see us for help with talking about your study abroad and or for guidance as you search for your next opportunity abroad. The next few slides are an overview of key resources we offer to students. These are three common topics that we help students with, career exploration, jobs and internships, and continuing education. We have key events throughout the year. Keep an eye out for them so that you have these opportunities to meet employers, discover jobs and internship opportunities, and to practice networking. Career tracks are opportunities to visit Richmond area businesses and see what it looks like to work within different industries. Keep an eye on Handshake to learn more about what career tracks are upcoming. We already talked about Handshake, but this is just a quick reminder that Handshake is our portal for full and part-time job opportunities as well as internships in federal work study. The Career Services website has a variety of resources on it. The Career Pathways is a section you might find particularly useful. We'll show you resources specific to industries that you might be interested in and provide advice for you to consider as you prepare for those industries. Suit Yourself is a resource that we provide where you can take up to four pieces of, of gently used professional clothing for free. And of course, you can stay in touch with us. Come visit us for drop-in hours or you can make an appointment. And you can also follow us on social. I hope this video was useful and that you now know that all the different ways that you can leverage your study abroad experience as far as talking to employers, graduate programs, and other kinds of opportunities. Feel free to share feedback on the content in this video by going to this link and entering 62 as the number of the program that you attended. I'd appreciate any feedback you have to share. Keep me in mind as a resource as you work on this, these next steps, and VCU Career Services is always here to help you. Thank you.